Hey there guys. So I'm outside watching the dogs. Sorry if you can hear a lawnmower in the background. My neighbor's mowing. But um, I thought I'd answer a question I got on my um, Facebook page. <laughs> my Facebook page. Um, I noticed it the other day and I wanted to tell people who are on my Facebook page. For some reason I'm not getting... Um... <laughs> are, you bark are you growling at Max? Look, he likes basketball too. Yes, he does. <laughs> he likes your basketball too, Miggy. Yes, he does. I'm going to have to get another basketball. Yes, I'm going to have to get another basketball. Anyways, um, I'm not getting... I have. I saw a bunch of comments um, the other day that I had no idea that I had gotten. I think he's eating a worm. I think he's eating a worm again. Oh, jeez. Okay, so, I didn't even know that I had gotten the comments, and I apologize if you've commented or asked me a question and I didn't respond. I try to respond to every message and every comment, but I, I don't know why I didn't see these ones. Um, anyway, someone asked me how I, keep, I kept Magnum from um, chasing Kitten, and um, my answer is I didn't do anything to keep him. I let him and Kitten get to know each other by themselves kind of like I did um, with the boys I, I supervised it but I let Kitten know or I let Kitten let him know what was too much um, with him if Kitten kind of bit him or smacked him or hissed at him I, I let Magnum get to know his limits with him um, <coughs> and same with Kitten with Magnum let Magnum know you know how much I let Magnum let Kitten know how much he wanted to be sniffed and stuff. Um, so, and of course, oop, and of course, I mean, if things get rough, you want to intervene, but I let them kind of let it, let each other know what their limits were, just like what Max did to him just now. Max lets him know how much he wants to play. <laughs> and Max kind of plays weird anyways. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. See how he's trying to itch his beard because he can't use that back leg still? Poor Max. Max, you need your beard scratched? Max is still kind of letting him know uh, how far Magnet can go with him, too. <laughs> so, I noticed somebody said he, he looked like he didn't like the puppy. He likes him, but he's still kind of letting him know, hey, I'm, I'm still older than you and I'm your boss. <laughs> what? Uh, so, anyways, so, that's what I did with Kitten. I just didn't really do anything except just supervise and let them get to know each other. So, so anyways, let's see. Let's see what, we can do some talking. Here. You gonna do some talking? Yeah? He's kind of letting Max know, too. Hey, just because I'm little, I'm tough. Kind of looks Max no too. <laughs> okay, so I wanted to also, I have some, um, I'm going to show you the kind of food I feed the dogs to answer that question, Not, uh, or the puppy I should say. Most of you know what I feed the boys. Show you what I'm feeding the um, puppy and also wanted to share with you a calming coat, I think it was called, that I got from Miggy because he's still... He's still scared when it gets dark out. I think he thinks the fireworks are going to keep going off, even though they haven't been going off for a little while. Um, I think he, he is, he's now associating the darkness with fireworks. So I picked him up a calming coat to try out. I tried it out last night, and it seemed to help. So I'm going to keep doing that. As soon as it starts getting close to uh, dusk, I'm going to put that on him until he knows that it's okay to come out at night. Uh, that nothing's gonna hurt him, so. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna sit here and uh, watch them play for a little bit. Go in and feed them and show you the food I'm feeding Magnum. Be back in a minute.
Okay, as you guys probably saw, me feeding my bunch their lunch. Um, that I per ended up purchasing the Happy Hunting Slophy Bolt. I think that's what it's called. I'll link it below in the description box. I believe they're $8.99 a piece, and they definitely slowed them down even more than the Kong Slophy Bowl. Because, like I said in the one video, the little like puzzle pieces, I guess, are closer together than the Kong Slophy Bowl. So, I think I'm gonna hang on those just for a little bit and. I have some, I have like three bags of dog food that I got from uh, coupons and PetSmart one time was giving out a free bag of dog food. I think it was by Neutro. Um, so I have a couple bags of dog food I want to take to the Genesee County Humane Society and donate. So I may take those slow feeder bowls with me uh, for them to use. So I thought I'd hurry up. I got to fill up the dog food jar right there. So I thought I'd um, answer a question I get a lot is what am I feeding Magnum? And this is what I'm feeding him, the Blue Buffalo Freedom Green Free Puppy Food. Um, he'll get that till he's a year old. And then I'll transition him over to this is what I feed my boys, the Green Free uh, Blue Buffalo Healthy Weight Formula. Since schnauzers are prone to pancreatitis, um, when he turns a year old, I'll slowly start adding some of this food in with his puppy food so I don't mess up his digestive system switching his food uh if I gave that all to him right away it might mess you know cause him to have diarrhea or something like that so I'll slowly add that into his puppy food so that's just what I'm feeding him right now and as you can see he loves his food <laughs> he made he made it spill a little because he was jumping around when I was trying to give it to him so he loves it all right guys I'll be back Okay, I also wanted to say you guys had a great suggestion in my last video to use duct tape on the um, pieces where they were kind of high up and my dogs would every now and then get their feet stuck in them. And I was thinking, why didn't I think of duct tape? Duct tape fixes everything, right? <laughs> so I got this cute paw print duct tape. I didn't do the greatest job of putting it on there, but it's covered now. And my dogs will no longer get their feet caught in there. It's such a relief to know that those are covered up now. I tried um, hanging something in front of it um, one time, but then I couldn't get the door shut. But with this uh, duct tape, whoop, these doors are kind of hard to shut anyways, but they're, uh, it doesn't impede them to shut. So thank you guys so much for suggesting tape. Worked out perfectly. Okay, so here's the um, calming coat. I thought I kept the packaging so I could show you guys. So I'm going to insert a picture here so you can see what it looks like. Okay, guys, so I'm going to put this on Miggy so I can show you kind of how it... Let me see if he's in frame. Yeah, how this works. So you wrap this first around the front of them. And I was told on my Facebook page to get it kind of tight. It works the best when it's tight. So they feel comforted. I noticed when the fireworks were going off, before I had this, I um, wrapped him tight in a blanket and he calmed down and stopped shaking. So then you take this other flap under the belly and on this side, in this flap, there's a little opening. So I take it inside there. It's kind of like you're swaddling a baby. And then I pull this other side up and this one is too big. It doesn't Velcro. So what I do is take, they only had this size left, they had one left. So I take this little um, clip like you'd use for um, elastic bandage, like if you were wrapping up your ankle or wrist, and I use that to hold it, to clip. Let me get my camera. Okay. So I use that to clip it over on this side. So this is kind of like the Thunder shirt. I looked at the Thunder shirts. But those are like 40 bucks and I paid oh $15 at Big Lots. I looked online and they're on Amazon for $24.99. So, and I try to tuck this thing in right there because when him and Magnum play at night, Magnum likes to grab this and try to pull it. So he's wrapped up tight and it helped last night. He was still a little hesitant to come outside um, after dark, but I got him outside and 
sat him on the porch and he went right down the stairs and stuff uh, once he had this on. Before, when I'd take him and put him on the porch, he'd be scratching at the door begging to go in. So when he had this on, he didn't do that. So I was very uh, surprised that it worked uh, pretty good in one night. So what I'm going to do tonight is when it starts to get dusk, I'm going to put this right on him. Um, so it's already on him and see if he'll come out the door. Because he wasn't even coming out the door. He would hide in my bed and he would growl at me if I um, grabbed him to come outside. So I'm going to get this on him first and let him wear it for 10-15 uh, minutes and see if he'll come to the door with it on to go outside. So I'll have to let you guys know in the next video. So that's what it looks like. And again, it's by the American Kennel Club. And I will put a link below for Amazon. Like I said, I paid $15 for it at Big Lots. So you might be able to find one at Big Lots if you have a Big Lots buy ya. Or um, on Amazon, they're $24.99. Yes, you can still walk with that on. Yes, you can. Okay, guys. We'll talk to you guys in the next video. Hope you guys are all having a great day. And everybody's good. And we'll see you later. Bye.